because here comes the world's greatest detective, Dick Tracy! Lock off for lunch, boys. What'd he say? He says the X-ray laser scope is working fine. Mumbles says he spotted the stuff. He says there's a cool 50 million in furs. Mumbles is activating the anti-gravity ray. The first! They're gone! But how? Mumble! Easy, Chief. How can I take it easy when this cheap crook flaunts his crimes in our faces? Hey, Chief! Mumbles has cut in on the monitor again! Mumbles says, how do you like them apples, coppers? Mumbles says, why can't the great Dick Tracy stop me? <laughs> That's just what I propose to do. What do you say? He says this is our biggest haul yet. Professor Transo, you are wanted in class. Yeah, I agree, Mumbles. Huh? What do you say? He says this language school of mine is a perfect front for his smuggling racket. With this device, I can pinpoint the source of any electronic impulse within the city. Tracy, what's the meaning of this headline? Mumbles behind bars within 24 hours vows Tracy. We'd be the laughing stock of the nation. Sorry, Chief. I had to plant that challenge to get a rise out of Mumbles. Well, you're getting it. He's cutting in on the monitor again. Ah, uh, I've been waiting for this. Tracy, Mumbles says he's going to pull the biggest caper of his career, and you cannot stop him. He says, Tracy, you have had it. Correction. I've got it. You mean you know where Mumbles was broadcasting from? Well, it's the corner of Catalpa and Ravenswood. Let's see what's there. That's the Translation School of Languages. Well, I'd be recognized, but not you two. How would you like to become language students? We'd love it. What's the big caper, Mumbles? <laughs> A billion dollars in gold dust. You say... These are electronic X-ray glasses, Dick. Right. They'll enable you to see through walls and transmit your view back to us. Now, as soon as you enroll, start looking around. We'll be nearby, so good luck. Thanks, Dick. Mumble says get the submarine ready. Okay, Transo. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Mumbles. It was smart of you to set up our operation over the city storm drain. The professor will be right with you. Anything on Moon Maid's monitor yet, Sam? Uh... Uh, nothing unusual yet. Hold it, Sam. I think I've got something on Junior's screen. It's Mumbles. A junior calling Tracy. There he is. We'll grab him. No, no, Junior, don't do it. Whoa! No! Mumbles says what happened? A couple of cops. They're with Tracy. Mumble says, bring him to the sub. Tracy won't try anything as long as we have him. He's right, Sam. We'll just have to play it by ear. <laughs> okay, Mumbles. We'll take him below. What do you know? Mumbles is putting the kids into a submarine. My monitor's going blank. So's mine. It must be the metal in a sub. How can we track him if we've lost contact? Every storm drain leads to the back. Let's get to the sea skimmer. What'd he say? He says, there's the boat with the gold dust. Activate the electronic hull snorkel. I've oh, got him, Tracy. Hey, hey, look here on the marine time detector. That's the sub, all right. So that's Mumble's caper, eh? Where'd it get it? That ship is carrying a billion in gold dust. Whoa. Unless we get there fast, Mumbles will get away with the gold. You'll have no further need for Junior and Moon Maid. Mumble says we've got all our gold dust. Let's get going. Uh oh, it looks like the police. Mumble says it must be Tracy. Send the gyro jammer. It'll knock out the controls on Tracy's craft. Fire! <laughs> Tracy, look out! Quick, Sam, the demagnetizer. Mumble says head out to sea. There, kids, you're free. Reactivate the gyro jammer and take her up, Sam. Got to turn that sub.
up back before they reach the open sea. cattle of fish and a billion dollars in gold well tracy i didn't think you could do it but you kept your promise you put mumbles behind bars in 24 hours what's that tracy tracy says thanks chief now how about my day off <laughs>